Beth. Hello, kids. This is Teacher Beth. Welcome again to our science class. Are you ready for another journey? Let's go. Our topic for today is about changes in solid materials, such as bent, press, hammered, and cut. This lesson will help you identify the different characteristics of solid materials and discover how they undergo such changes when you apply certain forces on them. So children, sit back and enjoy the fun of learning and discovering as you go through the different activities in this lesson. Before we start, let's read the poem. Can you name materials that can be bent, pressed, hammered, or cut? Let's find out! Now let's answer the questions. What are the different solid materials mentioned in the poem? What are the different ways by which these materials are changed? Did you answer the questions correctly, children? Good job! This time, let's try answering these activities. Are you done, children? Yes! What a remarkable effort! Don't worry, kids, if you got some mistakes. You will learn more about the lesson in the following activities. Can you imagine how different solid materials change its physical properties? Can you describe the changes that would take place in solid materials when they are bent, cut, hammer, or press? Let's find out! It's experiment time! Are you excited, children? Let's do learning task number one. Use only the materials that are available in your place or at home. Now that you have all the materials needed in the activity, let's begin by following these steps. Number one, try to bend, cut, hammer, or press each of the materials using the table. Number two, Write in column 2 what you can do to change the material. Number 3. Write in column 3 to describe the changes that occurred in the material. Let's learn more about changes in solid materials. Learning task number two. Using the given materials, do the following steps below. You may choose the materials that are available at home. After doing the activity, let's answer the guide questions. Number one, describe what happened to solid materials when they were cut, pressed, hammer, or bent. Number two, 
Did they form a new material? Why? Are you done, children? Great! You performed the activity well. For better understanding, let's do learning task number three. Examine the different solid materials given below. Choose the physical activity that will cause the material to respond. Write the letter of the best correct answer. Congratulations, children! I am happy that you have accomplished the task given to you. This time, let's explore more on the changes in solid materials by doing learning task number four. Draw a heart when the material involves a change in shape. Circle when it changes its size. And a star when it changes both the shape and size. Remember this, solid materials can be changed through many ways by cutting, tearing, folding, twisting, bending, stretching, pressing, coloring, crumpling, melting, and others. Such action may change the material size, shape, texture, color, and other characteristics or properties. No new material is formed because only the physical appearance of the material is changed. And that ends our science class. Remember, children, never give up. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. See you again next time. Goodbye.